great now I want a single post so what I can do is I mean first of all we are going to display the link of those posts right so what we can do is we can create a directory called components in the root directory and create a component called post link and we'll just const post link is equal to this is going to get props inside of this and then export const export default post link okay and this will return and this can be li and then we'll use the link that's provided link uh, component that's provided to us by Next.js link okay so we'll use the link tag I've already explained what this does is in my previous videos and link takes an HRF so for single post let's say that our single post will be available at slash post and then we can get the ID so we'll say ID and we can get that information from props dot ID so uh, we will pass the ID inside of the props later on okay and then inside of this link we can have an a tag or you can have whichever tag you want doesn't matter and we can say props dot title okay so we'll pass these two information when we import this so we can loop through each of the item in the post so we will have const we can pull posts so you can see that post will be available inside props so we can pull that out from props props and now loop through over it so first we'll check if posts dot length because that's an array so if it has the item then posts dot map let's map through it let's iterate over each item of the array okay and it's gonna give me so we'll just uh, use our post link okay and we're gonna pass we need the ID so post ID will be available inside of the ID so you can see we can have item dot ID and then for title so we have uh, yep we do have a title but that's in title rendered title dot rendered so because the title this rendered okay let's we have that okay great awesome so let's have a look what we did get okay title is not defined Oh, we have to put item over here. Item dot title dot rendered. Let's see. Okay, great. So we have got all of this available, and uh, we are saying that send the user to this ID uh, the slash post uh, question mark ID whenever he clicks on this link. So we have already created uh, we have already created a post component. All we have to do is just say const post return and for now we can just say single post export default post okay awesome so now if I click on this okay I think we have not used a UL we should use a UL you put UL tags return a UL tag and inside of this 
you map through each item of the element and return the post link okay great so okay great so if you click on this you can see now it goes on to the post uh, with an ID of 177 okay so since we have the ID of 177 uh, inside of the post all we can do is just pull that data okay so we can do a query again fetch fetch the data again so we can say get initial props async and inside of this we can say response is equal to we need the isomorphic unfetch so import import fetch from next isomorphic unfetch okay and then over here we can do a sync fetch and we need this single post so let's go to WordPress REST API and see how do we get the single post so retrieve a post okay to receive a single post you can you can see that you can retrieve a single post with the ID okay so we already have the URL we can copy this and right here uh, in fact let's use backticks okay so here it needs uh, the post ID so how do we get the post ID okay let's have a look it will be await not async Okay. Better. Okay, great. So how do we get the ID? Uh, what we can do is we have something called context available over here. Context. And let's see what we get inside of the context. Context. Can't resolve isomorphic unfetch. Okay, it may, might be the spelling might be wrong. Okay, it's not inside next, it's just isomorphic unfetch. Okay, great. Let's have a look. So now, since we have console context and the get initial props first get rendered, uh, renders on the uh, first get rendered on the server side you can see that inside of console we have the entire uh, context printed right so if you check it's too long so basically this is the context so inside of context you have a query parameter available and inside of query you have the ID of 177 and that's exactly what we need so we can say context.query.id and we can get ID like that so over here we can say context dot query dot id or we can pull it over here so we can say context sorry post id is equal to context dot query dot id okay and then we can just replace this with the post id that looks more semantic okay and then this result this gives me a promise so I can say post data so it will be a single post data will be await and then response dot uh, JSON so this is going to give me the post data and then I can just return the post data or just post over here and then put post data over here and now since the, whatever you're going to return from get initial prop as we know it will be available as props inside a post okay so now I can have const and I can pull sorry this will be props I can pull the post out of props props okay so now I can just so let's just display the title I mean you can display the whole post and all of the information regarding that like body and everything but let's just display title because this tutorial is for uh, to understand how to create custom routes custom endpoints on uh, using express so this will be post dot title let's have a look 
Uh, so what is the issue? Let's console props and see what we get. Props single post. Let's have a look. Okay, let's also check if we are actually getting the post. Yep, we are getting the post. Great, awesome. So we have the post available. We have the title. Do we have the title? No, we okay it's inside of the rendered sorry that's why it was not displaying so we can just do post dot title dot rendered and now we should be able to get the single post let's have a look awesome great so you can now see that we have the single post available if you go back to my root URL you can see if you click on file or image uploads you can see that we have that available if you click on interesting we have that available as well but the thing is that it doesn't look good right uh, so we don't have a clean URL available okay so in the next tutorial we're going to learn about how to actually get the clean URL by creating the custom endpoint because this video has become too long I don't want to make it too long so in the next episode we will learn about how to make custom endpoint with the clean URL okay guys see you then bye bye